welcome to our laboratory. If I've made any mark in history, it's bringing the concept of mycelium to the forefront of public consciousness. Mycelium is the fine cobweb-like filaments that permeate all landscapes on Earth. And from this sea of mycelium, these giant mushrooms will arise. And you'll see tons of mycelium that we've been growing. And we have about 500 species in culture. Every strain that we have is a different story, a different adventure in the old growth forest. One of the great challenges is to take the mycelium into the laboratory and bring it out in, into nature. And then we grow enormous quantities of beautiful pure white mycelium that's gobbling up the straw and is growing these mushrooms. These are oyster mushrooms. And the mycelium now is extremely reactive in breaking down toxic waste and also for capturing E. coli. So we can capture industrial waste or farm waste and reduce its toxic effects on the environment and grow food for people. So as ecosystems are undergoing change, this fungi come to the rescue. And turkey tail mushrooms are very powerful at breaking down toxins. They break down hydrocarbons, oil, petroleum products, herbicides, pesticides. After Chernobyl, there was a mushroom found downwind that hyperaccumulated cesium-137, more than 10,000 times the background levels. So the idea of using mycelial networks to decontaminate radioactive fallout you know, has great implications. And so mushrooms respond to catastrophic events. And since we're the biggest walking catastrophe that I know of on the planet, mushrooms surge in the response of my footsteps leaping up in the aftermath of my footsteps to collect the debris that I've created. Mushrooms have been used medicinally and spiritually for thousands of years. We're really dis rediscovering that which our ancient relatives knew long ago, that there are deep reservoirs of powerful medicines. This mushroom could be very powerful as a smart mushroom to increase intelligence, memory, preventing Alzheimer's, MS, and other types of neurological dementia. Fungi love interface environments, and they're the leading edge of change. And we've only identified about 10% of mushrooms. So there's a lot out there to be discovered.